It's a novice back again with another review. Code Eight. This is a Netflix movie, guys. Uh, if you don't know it already, it's just my thoughts without uh, giving away too many spoilers. So this movie is was a twenty twenty movie. It's a crowdsourced movie. Uh, from what I found out, it was based on like a short film. Uh, in twenty, oh, I forget the year it came out. Some some years ago. And now it's a feature film on, on Netflix now. So that's good to hear that these kind of movies are being made. I, I believe I've spoken about this before in my train of thought videos, but yeah, this is a good look for hopefully this next decade to come. We need more like fantasy movies that aren't just about Marvel and DC characters. And we need just like so many other good movies in general, in different genres that aren't just superhero stuff. But anyway, my opinion on this movie, non-spoilers, I really like this movie. The world, I, I love that, I love the feeling of this world. For people who don't know, I've, I've name-dropped it in a couple of videos, but I am a Luke Cage fan. I'm a Luke Cage fan, ironically, because of the Netflix series, also of Iron Fist fan, ironically. But I started to read up on their characters because of my dislike for the, the worlds of this series. They felt so cheap and unimaginative whereas this world the production value again this is a crowdsourced movie and the production value in this movie is better than those two netflix series that i just mentioned it has people with powers this this is what i want this is the kind of world building i want in those shows in certain properties to come I just don't. Oh God, it's so frustrating. But I'm got, I'm getting off topic. This movie, the way it started, I liked it. So who shut big up the, the script writer who wrote this movie? You did a good job. You did a good job. Definitely, it was very easy to follow. So it's a world where obviously people who have powers on the bottom of the the chain, the the what the people chain, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Uh, at one point, they were building, helping build cities and helping out the, the economies. And then automation and other things started to phase them out and discrimination. Um, what do you call it? Like registration laws came out and now they were like criminal and drug rings and all this stuff. So that's all I can give away without getting specific. But guys, I definitely recommend you watch this movie. First reason, if you're a fan, like I said, uh, super old movies, but you want something different, you don't want the same old Marvel or DC stuff, watch this movie, because this movie is just basically what would happen if it's one of those one of those things, a bit like The Boys, but The Boys is much different and much better written. It's not that good. Um, a bit like The Boys, where it questions what would it be like if super olds were in this world, but they, you know, society wasn't giving them the benefits uh, ironically, because of their powers, uh, they were looking down on them. They weren't doing what they could. But that's not even the highlight of this movie for me. The highlight of this movie is essentially just, just a. I, I just like I just like this world, man. This world just makes me feel good. Uh, the main character is played by what's his name? I'm gonna look at my notes and check. Wait, Connor. Yeah, Connor, played by Robbie. I know the real actor's name, Robbie Amell. I like that he's in this movie, by the way. Um, there's a TV show I watched years ago called uh, Tomorrow People, where kind of plays a similar sort of character, actually, to be honest. Another powered person meets a secret society, other people with powers. Um, I'd actually, no, that isn't the same in this movie, exactly. So, yeah, without spoiling, again, giving it away. Uh, but he meets... He, he gets into things with other people with powers as well. And I just... The reason why I don't want to speak too much in this movie is because, again, I, I just I just want people to watch it and see for themselves. What else did I like about this movie? Um, oh, you know what? Yeah, I like that they don't tell you everything in the writing. Less is more. People, when you see something bad, the more I'm watching movies, guys, the more I'm understanding that uh, with dialogue, less is always more, and with storytelling, less is always more. So in this world, 
the things where uh, there's a certain character who has an illness uh, and they also have powers throughout this movie i couldn't understand but wait are you do you have this con do you have a condition or do you have powers i couldn't it made no sense to me and i like that they, they started to make it clear oh you there are issues when you're part it's not as simple as you're in you know you're you're impervious to normal disease when you get sick it, it, it's a situation for you which that's that leads me to the flaws of this movie a little bit um i want to know more about this world how exactly like to a fault it left me wanting more but how exactly did these people come about where did power people come from that actually doesn't bother me it's just something that's leaving me wondering it's not a flaw per se it's just something that i'm wondering but you could argue that's a benefit of this movie this movie does does it um get that job done it does leave that enough mystery but it's not necessarily about that it's about personal stuff um also liked again it's, it's all to do with just the world i just like the world the characters are like again Stephen Amell's character. Shout out to Stephen Amell. I I never watched Arrow, uh, when I was younger, but I've seen like one or two episodes of it, and I've heard good things, especially about like the first two seasons. Um. Yeah, and obviously I've heard he's like he, he's he's into this stuff. So shout out to him for doing something like this. Um, I liked his character too. Oh, that that was another thing I was gonna mention. Good exposition. The scenes in this movie where uh, Stephen Amell's character is doing something, uh, Robbie Amell's character is doing something, and it feels like so natural and slick. Th those two together, I I'll say they have a certain relationship with this movie. Those two together, they have a good chemistry together. That was the plus of this movie. This movie, again, irony. You hear about all of these big franchises or we're trying to make it more diverse, trying to represent this, the, again, the different faces in the movie, it felt so casual. And I loved that because the story came first and that was just a thing that, oh, look, not everyone in this movie is the same from this, only from this group, from this group. No one was felt over or underrepresented necessarily and i like that um yeah but you should also watch this movie if like me yes you want good writing uh but you don't want to feel overwhelmed by it so this movie just it has a simple premise um also if you like stuff to do with like crime drama simple action where it's not like too john wickish um yeah, you'll like this movie. So I definitely recommend that you see this. <laughs> it's funny, I can't talk spoilers. Uh, yeah, I just just go see it. Go see it. Um, over and out. Thanks for watching, guys.